हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एस वाई बी एस सी क्लास सेमिस्टर फोर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लर्न अबाउट पेपर नंबर वन कैलकुलस फोर एंड यूनिट नंबर वन ऑफ दिस पेपर नेम ऑफ द यूनिट इज रिमान इंटीग्रेशन सो इन द रिमान इंटीग्रेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी सम इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट बाउंडेड एंड अनबाउंडेड इंटरवल्स ऑफ सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर्स ओके बाउंडेड एंड अनबाउंडेड इंटरवल्स ऑफ सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर्स सो सी ए फर्स्ट इंटरवल इज अ क्लोज इंटरवल ए कमा बी एंड दैट इंटरवल इज बाउंडेड ओके Uh, it has a lower bound and upper bound therefore it is bounded our second interval is open interval a comma b and that interval is also bounded third is open interval a comma infinity so this interval is unbounded because lower bound exist but upper bound does not exist similarly the third next interval is minus infinity to infinity and this interval is unbounded it is bounded above but it is not bounded below okay so one more examples of uh, bounded or unbounded unbounded intervals we can write so <coughs> one more example i can write like this a uh, closed interval a comma infinity this interval is unbounded this is one more example of uh, intervals of set of real numbers next interval i can write like this minus infinity to be closed okay so this is also unbounded interval unbounded interval okay now uh, if we define some continuous function on a bounded interval then that function also becomes a, a bounded function that function also becomes a okay so <coughs> So let us go to the uh, let consider some examples now <coughs> so some examples some functions defined on bound or closed interval they are bounded and some functions which are defined on the bounded interval may or may not be bounded so let us take one example <coughs> uh, example number 1 okay uh, let f be a real valued function defined on a bounded interval so right here um, let f be a real valued function defined on on bounded intervals defined on bounded interval and that function b f of x is equal to simple function is a sin x function and uh, it is defined on defined on minus infinity to infinity okay now see if this is defined on unbounded interval but that function is bounded 
okay so we know that it is defined on unbounded interval minus infinity to infinity means it is defined for all real numbers and uh, that function is a bounded function because we know the graph of this sine function all of we know the graph of this sine function so let us try to draw the graph of sine function now Hmm. So let us draw x axis, y axis, and uh, hmm. x axis, y axis. one more time the graph of sine x functions I will, I'm going to draw okay x axis y axis okay both axis are perpendicular to each other origin and uh, suppose shield is 1 on the y axis here it is 1 minus 1 on the x axis and the graph of that function is so for x equal to 0 value of sine is 0 and uh, it goes to like this is a zigzag function all of you know what is the graph of that sine function it's quite difficult to draw this graph now uh, okay 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 so this graph is bounded in between 1 and minus 1 so all values of sine x they are greater equal minus 1 and less equal 1 and okay and it is true for all x belongs to the unbounded interval minus infinity to infinity the here the function sine x function is bounded then it is defined on unbounded interval okay now let us go to the next example let us go to the next example example number two example number two and that example is function f of x it is defined like this one upon x and it is defined for all values of x in the interval zero comma one zero open interval zero comma one okay so in this interval what is the graph of this this function so here we observe that this function is uh, defined on bounded interval interval is bounded but that function is unbounded function is not bounded in this interval okay so let us uh, take draw the graph of this function we go from here to here okay okay 
and uh, graph of this function is we define for 0 to 1 okay so um, suppose here it is 1 1 and it is here it is 1 0 it is defined for in this range 0 to 1 on the x-axis this is y-axis and the graph of function is So this function is not bounded. So for x equal to one, value is one. One minute. So I'm not able to draw the graph of this function. And this is y. So graph of that function in this interval is like this okay like this one so one for x equal to one function has one okay something strong so if you observe that uh, this is our x axis y axis origin 0 hmm? uh, so for x equal to 1 function has value 1 suppose we have like this now so it is 1 2 3 4 here is 1 2 3 4 for x equal to 1 functional value is 1 for x equal to 2 functional value is 1 half see here so I am not defining for x equal to 2 ok now for x equal to 1 by 2 function has value 2 here for x equal to 1 by 3 function has value 3 okay for x equal to 1 by 4 function has value 4 and so these are the points okay we are plotting so for x equal to 1 upon 100 function has value 100 so 100 means okay so function is see here the graph of that function in this interval uh, one minute okay so graph is like this okay so increasing graph and decreasing okay uh, <clears throat> so as function values values of the function goes on as uh, 
values of x goes on decreasing the values of function goes on increasing okay so that function is so we observe that here uh, f of x in this case f of x is uh, f of x is is bounded hmm? its lower bound is 1 and uh, upper bound is infinity okay. has no upper bound okay therefore this function is unbounded function is unbounded while that function is defined on the bounded interval 0 comma 1 okay so let us take one more example one more example example number 3 and here function f of x is equal to x and it is defined for all values it is defined for all values in the interval for all values in the interval 0 comma 1 okay 0 comma 1 <clears throat> and the graph of that function is very simple that function is bounded as well as as it is defined on the boundary interval uh, function is defined on the boundary interval and the function is also bounded okay interval is bounded function is bounded so we can draw a quick graph of this function Okay, this is our x axis, y axis, origin, and uh, suppose here it is 0 and here it is 1. Here it is 0 and uh, 1. So, in this case, the graph of this function is. like this okay so finite graph and the function is bounded <coughs> so function f of x has values in between 0 and 1 it is bounded And that function is defined on the bounded interval. So function on bounded interval is bounded. So there are three cases. First case we saw the function is bounded on bounded interval. Second case is again a function is bounded on uh, sorry first case we that why uh, that we saw is function uh, pop x equal to sin x. It is bounded on unbounded interval. Second case is function f of x equal to 1 upon x. It is unbounded on bounded interval. Third case is function f of x equal to x. And that function is bounded on bounded interval. Okay. So today we, today we stop here. Okay. In the next lecture, uh, we define the least upper bound of function and the low, greatest lower bound of function. So this is the end of this lecture and uh, thank you.